and welcome to another episode of Alex Plays Pokemon Gold. In today's video, we will be taking on the Cerulean City Gym. So, without further ado, let us begin. So, in the last video, we found Misty on a date and she wasn't too pleased with the fact that we interrupted it. However, she did see that we had eight Johto badges and said that she would come and very graciously accept her challenge. So, here we go. Yo, champ in the making. Since Misty was away, I went out for some fun too. He. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm assuming we can just go all the way round and then use surf. I guess we could just do that. However, where's the fun not and why don't we not where's the fun in that? So let's just take on the challenge the yeah the gym challengers. So we'll start off with Dragonair again as still needs to level him up but it looks like we'll be using muscle mostly in this gym because we have no water types even though we did catch an electabuzz in the last episode it was only level 15 so unless these guys are level like 15 20 yeah we've got no chance so we will just be using Dragonair and Machop, or Machoke, sorry. Hopefully Dragonair can do most of the damage. So we can hope, hopefully, hope for the best. There we go. So there's one down. And what else have you got? A horsey. Again, so we'll stay here. I think Corsi is just a water type, so we don't. This isn't going to be too much. But it does have Twister, which is the problem. Which is a dragon type move, meaning it's super effective against us, hence the reason why it's doing lots of damage. But. That's two down and defeated. And what is your third Pokemon? It is a Seedra. Hmm. So the evolved form of a horsey. And is this this one also isn't a dragon type. It must be Kingdra's the dragon type. I couldn't remember if Seedra is dragon water or just water but it looks like it's just water and we miss that's not good oh uh, no it's, oh, okay we don't even survive well there goes that idea of um dragonair helping us out and we also got cross chop in the last episode so we will be testing that out at some point in this video. Hey, so there's muscle gained enough XP there. We will put muscle up second, I think. There we go. Because I'm not going sh back to heal up after every battle. So we'll just use my chop just now and then we'll go back, heal up and then take on Misty. I think is probably the best idea. So we'll take on the Sea King with Cross Chop. And at one shot it great. There we go, and what else have you got? Another Sea King. 
Well, we'll try another cross chop. There we go. Fantastic. Hey. And one more gym challenger. And then we'll go back and heal up. In fact, should we heal up or should we just go on with muscle? I feel as if we don't really need to, but I guess it depends on how much damage Gold Duck does because it does have that confusion, which is obviously a psychic type, which is super effective against fighting muscle. And seismic toss. Yeah, I think it's probably best healing up. So we'll do that after this one. I mean, the Pokemon Center is literally next door. So we can't really complain too much. So let's go and heal up. Here. There we go. And we'll go back into the gym. So and there is Misty. So hello. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto gym badges, but you'd better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. Okay. I wasn't planning to, to be honest, Misty. But if you insist. So we'll start off with a slam. Okay, you've got psychic. That's not good. And our special defense dropped as well. Which means that next psychic is going to do a lot of damage. Oh no. Well, there goes Dragonair straight away. Right, okay, so we're not. I think we're going to bring out Lapras just now just to get rid of the psychic side from Golduck. Because that is going to destroy um, Machoke otherwise. So we will do that just now. And Ice Beam. And we should be able to use a couple more Ice Beam. And get that sorted one more hey there we go and what have you got now Quagsire. Alright, okay, so we'll just stay out with Lapras then, because Ice Beam should be super effective against Quagsire. So that's quite fortunate. And we'll just have one more Ice Beam. Okay, that didn't finish it off surprisingly but we'll just use one more then there we go 
hand. What have you got now? A Lapras of your own. Okay, so that is definitely one for muscle, considering we know that Lapras is an ice type. Hey, it's also level 44 and female the same as ours. But because it's an ice type, Cross Chop should be super effective. Uh, nearly one shot? Hey, and it one shots it. Perfect. And we now have Starmie. So why don't we bring out Feraligator for Starmie, considering Starmie is also Psychic type. And Feraligator's Bite should also be super effective, but we get confused. Lovely. Please don't... Okay, it hit itself as well. Not really what I was looking for. But I guess Surf isn't going to do too much damage, considering we're water type as well. Uh, but we're still going to probably hit ourselves. Oh, we got through! Yes! There we go, so we just need to hopefully snap out of confusion. At some point... Snap out! Yay! Confused no more. And one more bite. If we can survive another surf, that is. Oh, we can! Yes! Hey, And then Feraligator manages to get through. And we defeated Misty! And we get the Cascade Badge. Lovely. There we go. And it's official! There we go. Fantastic. So, I think we will heal up just now. And then, because it's been quite short, we'll head over to Celadon City, I believe is the next one. So, we will head there. If we look at the map, so we could go to Pewter, which is this way, or that was Route 5, there's Celadon. So if we go down, if we go down, we get to Saffron. I'm assuming this is the daycare centre? Wait, what? Well, she gives us a cleanse tag. Okay. I'll take a cleanse tag. Okay, we can't really give... Okay. What happens if we give... Why don't we give the potion to the, the protein, sorry, we'll give that to Muscle because he uses a lot of attacking moves. And then we can get the cleanse tag. Which now we can see here helps repel wild Pokemon. So We'll give that to Ho-Oh. I don't know if it needs to be at the top of your party or at the bottom, but uh, just in the party. So we're now in Saffron, I believe. And if we go this way, The 
under underground path from si can we not get in? No. What happens if we go this way? Hey! So again, we don't really need to heal up because we've just healed up. But we have made it to Celadon City. And I believe... Do you know what we should do? Let's have a wee tour around Celadon City. And then we'll call the video there. So he's talking about his Polyrath. So this is basically... Do you, oh, want to know a secret? Celadon Mansion has a hidden back door. Oh. So there's the hidden back door. It's just a matter of how do we get to the hidden back door. Up here. Okay, so... Hello. Okay, he's going to tell us a tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was given a new bicycle. He wanted to try it right away. He was having so much fun that he didn't notice that the sun had set. While riding home in the pitch black night, the bike suddenly slowed. The pedals became heavy, and when he stopped pedaling, the bike began slipping backwards. It was as if the bike was cursed and trying to drag him into oblivion. Okay. Ah! The boy had been riding uphill on... Wow. Okay, so we got a TM out of that. TM curse. Ah, right, okay, fair enough. It's a terrifying move. Okay. We came all the way up here for... For curse. Well, if you want curse, then it's up there. Okay, so anything else in here? Surely it's got to be a nothing? Okay. And what's in the actual mansion itself? Hello. Oh, that's nice. So a Pokemon keeper, keeper company. That's nice. Manager suite is up there. I uh, can't get anywhere. Nobody here. Game freak, meet it, game freak meeting room, but no one's here. I'm assuming that's because they're in Johto. Oh, this is the develop, oh, meeting room. Okay, so that's the development room. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up the Pokedex is tough, but don't give up. Who, me? I'm the programmer. Playing, play the slot machines. Okay, I'm assuming you've done the slot machines. You're the graphic designer that drew me. And aren't the twins adorable? Jasmine's pretty too. Oh, I love them. Okay, I'm assuming you designed them. And is there anything up here? No? Okay. So that's it for the mansion. What have you got? Did you get anything to say? What? Oh, you're the one that told me about the secret. Okay. What about you? Anything? Department store. Okay. It was. 
Okay, you were looking around and made you dizzy. And another phone call. Okay, bye Arnie. Okay, what's this wee guy saying? Over here. Grammar have been appearing lately. See that pond out in front of the house? Grimer live there too. Where did they come from? This is ser a serious problem. Oh, okay. Poor Grimer, maybe they just want to have some fun. Okay, so that's the play corner. And there's the sign that tells me we're in Celadon. So, I believe the play corner used to be where Team Rocket's hideout used to be before they disbanded in the last series. So is it still here? See this picture? Is it this one? Oh, <laughs> that's quite funny because underneath the poster there used to be the switch in the last series and now it's nothing. Okay. I'm not going to go through everyone here. I'll just let them play their game. So, anything else? What's down here? Hello. You told us that... Okay. Um, what about you? They're holding an eating contest at the restaurant. Just watching them go, t it makes me feel bloated. An eating contest? Hi. Okay. Okay, can I not join in? Apparently not. Okay, anything else? Hey, a PP up. I don't think there's anything else in the city apart from the gym. Which we will take on in the next episode. So let's just. I think we've done this already, but we'll just finish off by healing up, even though I don't think we need it, and then we'll call the video there. So that is us. So thank you all for watching. In the next video, we will be taking on the, uh, where are we, Celadon City Gym. So, if you're a fan of what you've seen so far, please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.